small farm. This is during session. This is during a session when uh, there is GMO legislation pending, HB 174. I don't think this should be allowed. That's uh, Mark Phillipson, a Syngenta lobbyist, head of Syngenta and lobbyist. There's a bunch of lays here waiting for people. I'm giving you a panned view. Here's the remains of the Ahu, the um, structure that the uh, statue of uh, Haloa was constructed uh, two years ago by anti-GMO activists uh, My question is if why these kinds of things are uh, even allowable. You want to do you want to do camera? You want to do camera or no? Karen. Karen, do you want to do camera or no? So my question is, why, why should this, why is this even legal? I did ask the, um, we got some, we got some people here, we got some GMO labeling people here. Let me ask him what's up. I'm, you're live on the internet. You got. Oh tell me. God. How dangerous is that? Yeah, get get right I'm in this. Try to get in this shot here. Let's see. In the background of his shot. How close can I get? You can get. Let's get close. <laughs> this is our house. This is our house. Yeah, we can, we can put the sign wherever you want. You can you can get right up to him if you want. Been joined by uh, Steve Sullum of New Jersey, formerly of Ina Heine. We're in front of the state uh, capitol building where a bus is going to kidnap uh, a bus full of uh, GMO lobbyists. They're going to kidnap some legislators and take them on a tour. Can I get away too? I'll, I'll move around and you can see what that looks like. And I am too hard on lobbyists, you know, for buying legislation. Because you can't buy leg you can't buy without a seller. You can't buy le legislation without legislators willing to sell it. I mean, this is We're in session in Hawaii. There is a very mild GMO bill on the table, HB 174, which requires the labeling of produce, not any processed food. I asked the uh, State Ethics uh, Commission um, whether this was legal. They didn't get back to me, but they do have uh, the information. I, I just found out about it yesterday, so that's the deal. So this bus is going to pick up legislators and then uh, take them to a Location to uh, get a presentation by mainland farmers who were who won an essay contest who were flown in they were waiting for the bus.
and uh, there are some protesters here, people who want GMO labeled, who, uh, who question this sort of thing. I am here to find out who's going to get on the bus, you know what I'm saying? I want to know who's on the bus. i turn on my battery pack here. There we go. Now we think they're going to go out to Kunia. And uh, we're going to follow them. Here's the bus. I'm thinking here's the bus. <laughs> There's a. Ch you are live on the internet. Okay. John Steelquist, you're yeah. the uh, chair of the Makiki Neighborhood Makiki Board. Board. Okay, well. Now there's a question here whether this is uh, how this is legal to take legislators while it's in session onto this junket and have a presentation by pro GMO people. I, I'm not some, sure the pro GMO. I just I was told it was agriculture. Well, you know, the Syngenta. That's the the GMO lobbyist for Syngenta. The Hawaii Crop Improvement Association yeah. is all lobbyists from um, Monsanto, Syngenta, Pioneer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that seems a bit of a conflict to me. I asked the State Ethics Commission whether this is allowable. They didn't get back to me, but I only found out about it uh, yesterday. You're not a legislator. So. No, no, I'm just a citizen trying to find things out. We had a couple of presentations on both sides of our board. We did. In fact, I was there for, for yeah. both of them. One yeah. by Cindy Goldstein, yeah. who is a lobbyist for, uh, for um, DuPont, yeah. who didn't identify herself as such I want to put a I want to put a proposal into the neighborhood board saying if anyone makes a presentation they have to identify if they're lobbyists yeah. or not and I don't know if we went back again but uh, a month or so ago our board passed a resolution favoring labeling oh that's great yeah that's yeah. great so, but you know, the board gets information we don't make a decision we don't right people involved that's why I think they should identify sure. as lobbyists Thank you, uh, John Steelquist, Makiki uh, Chair of Makiki Neighborhood Board. Sure. Thank you. I don't see a lot of legislators. Legislators have the... Uh, option to um, see if we can find out how many legislators are we waiting for uh, I'm not sure well, you're hiding the list I was I wanted oh, to show the people uh, the list I mean, of the people, uh, the people on the list were invited I saw the invitation yeah it was oh, okay. legislators you're not going to let me see the list? No, because you're not part of the event, unfortunately. I am part of the public. I'm providing a public oversight of government operations. And you are a taste of ag. Becker Communications, that's a PR firm. Okay. No, Becker is good. In fact, the Hawaii Board of Realtors, I used to work for them, and they use, they use Becker Communications. They're not letting me see the see the list, but I guess we can see if this guy's like blocking the view here. I'm gonna get in. Monsanto. They're taking this. I I'm here to provide public oversight of government operations. Now you're the lobbyist and head of the local uh, Syngenta. Um, and, and you're moving really close, which is yeah, okay. That is okay. Wh which is okay. Good. Now, at the hearings, I saw you went to uh, Umeke and had an organic lunch, which is kind of telling. Do you actually eat GMO? And why is it right that you can kidnap legislators and then try to influence them while legislator, the legislature is in session and while there's a GMO labeling uh, effort on the table. How is that legal? How is that, how is that ethical? 
Well, I'm not going to get an answer out of uh, Phillips and of Syngenta. I don't think this is a group. This is Robert's Tours. We got a great group here. Look at that. People want labeling. Here's a little greeting table. The event is uh, sponsored by Hawaii Crop Improvement Association. Hawaii Crop Improvement Association, this is a nice name, but it's basically, it's not basically, it's entirely a GMO lobbyist group, uh, Perlac of Monsanto, Philipson of Syngenta, Cindy Goldstein, I call her Cindy Frankenstein, but that's rude, so I won't. Cindy Goldstein of uh, DuPont, uh, rep uh, lobbyist from Mycogen, BASF. They're doing this taste of egg. And what they're doing is they're kidnapping, they invited uh, legislators to have this uh, nice tour of a GMO uh, farm, quote unquote, and have a, a lunch or something. I don't think they're going to be eating uh, seed corn. This is scary, says uh, Steve Sullum. I don't know how this is legal. You know, I, I'm i trying to get a view of the politicians that are showing up. They're not showing me the... Uh, they're not showing me the list. There's a lot of people from industry groups. seed corn. And we are at the state capital, that's the great seal, it says Omao ke ea o kaena i kapono. I wish they would take that seriously, the life of the land is preserved in pono, you know, the sovereignty of the land. That guy in the uh, long sleeve shirt is Philipson of Syngenta. Syngenta is a Swiss corporation. They won't let them grow GMO in Switzerland. Okay? Swiss corporation, Swiss multinational corporation can't grow GMO in Switzerland, so they grow it in Hawaii and other places. I asked them at, a, at the Waimanalo uh, panel discussion, if you can't grow it in Switzerland, why do you grow it in other countries? And he said, well, you know, because they allow it. And where are the laws made? Right here. And if you're from Hawaii, this is your house. This is your hale. This is where they make the laws. Unfortunately, we got a system. We got a system that allows the... Uh, buying and selling of legislation. I blame the lobbyists a lot, but you know, you can't buy legislation un unless somebody's selling. And it's not under the table, it's over the table. And it's right here. And it's a beautiful table. I mean, it's a coal wood table. And you know who paid for this? You know who paid for this? Did the lobbyists pay for this? No, you paid for it. There's a bunch of uh, GMO activists. You're live on the internet. Thanks for showing up with these labels. Citizens are watching. That is, that is like my motto. Absolutely. You know, we're really polite in Hawaii. You can see that there are uh, GMO, anti-GMO activists that showed up. We found out about it, like, last night, and we showed up. 
uh, but we're not charging these guys. Uh, we're pretty. Um, we are pretty uh, polite here. That was Orandada. We're gonna try and uh, meet them in Kunia too. Steve Sullivan mentions uh, Monsanto's also behind uh, bovine growth hormone that's uh, given to dairy cows and that we are drinking if you drink uh, most uh, milk. Control the food and you control the world. And how do you control the food? You control the houses like this that we pay for. I don't see many politicians yet. I don't see many politicians yet. I see uh, lobbyists. Philipson from Syngenta is here. I'd like to, if you're out there watching, you know, tweet the link out. It is freaking scary. I like how the other side, you know, we show up at these things with cameras and whatnot. And they think, well, if they're going to shoot me, I'm going to shoot back. And you know, that's fine. We have uh, Jess saying she's glad she's not here because she's a potential murder suspect. <laughs> I think that's what the initials stand for, but... I don't see the politicians yet. I do see uh, John Steelquist is the chair of the um, Monkiki Neighborhood Board that had both uh, pro and con uh, GMO uh, presentations. Pro was by Cindy Goldstein, lobbyist for DuPont, who didn't identify herself as a lobbyist, but as a scientist and concerned citizen. The uh, anti-GMO argument was presented by Dr. Melissa Yi and Dr. Hector Valenzuela. And John Steelquist told me that the board did make a resolution to support uh, labeling GMOs. So that's pretty cool. I don't think the uh, A lot of people want to show up here. I guess that's all that's gonna show up here. My question to the State Ethics Commission was how is this even legal? Food and drinks. That's like so. Would would like drugs and hookers be okay? You know, if you had legislation, and I guess there is some lobbying going on for gambling. I mean, you think those guys could do then a kind of a night in Vegas kind of uh, lobbying effort and take legislators le legislators out and have like. Uh, drugs and hookers waiting for them or something. <laughs> That's a system we've created. You, we, you can buy and sell legislation. You know, it's not for the market to decide, it's for us to decide. This is, you know, this is your house. You built this. Your money built this. Here are the anti, uh, the GMO labeling guys. I'm glad these guys showed up. I'm going to walk around so we get some uh, idea of uh, where we are. 
and then we'll go interview uh, some people. There's the Becker Communications guy, PR firm runs it. PR firm runs it, big money, runs this taste of ag thing. You know how much these GMO protesters are getting? Nothing. These are citizens. Let me let me get a word here. What do you why are you here and what's up? Aloha. Well, I just think it's very important to give an alternative voice to the uh, public relations campaign of the Hawaii Crop Improvement Association, which is uh, the group of chemical companies. And there they go. I'm going to follow them and just let's follow. Let's follow along. see them and then we're going to try and follow them out to uh, Kunia. Now it might seem like I'm being a pain in the ass but really what I'm doing is providing uh, public oversight of uh, government operations. This is what lobbying money does to your legislators. They buy legislation and your legislators sell legislation. It ain't right. Not many people. I didn't see a lot of legislators. You can, uh, they had the option actually to drive, drive themselves out to Kunia. Becker guy, the, the PR guy didn't want, uh, that's what it says here, I'm going to get right up here, taste the bag, farm to their, you know, I think if there are any legislators that are going, they're going to be, uh, that's a, that's a pretty good, you're, the label it sign actually has a label that label on it, and I think yeah. that's really good. <laughs> what what Just brings you out here? What brings you out here? You know, I've always cared about what I ate, and I care about it for my family, and I now care about it for my friends because when you find out that you know GMO products are in all the soy and corn products, processed foods that we have, um, you know, what about the health of everyone in the country? It's it's really scary. Uh, the secrecy scares me. Why can't they allow it to be labeled? Um, the, the type of agriculture that will be um, done, which is not sustainable, more pesticides, more herbicides, all of that. Uh, That's great. That's I'm glad to see you there because I'm for labeling too. I'm actually oh, for, thank you. I'm actually for getting GMO oh, out the off, off the island, totally, off the it. country, and off right. the damn planet. Anybody want to say anything? We're uh, live on the internet. We are not criminals. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what those guys say, no matter what the GMO guys say, speaking out is not a crime. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but you're you're supposed to be part of an extremist cult. We are. <laughs> Constitutionalists. <laughs> we're natural sovereign people. That's we're we're, we're an ex 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 a dying breed. Now at the same time, this is happening on the uh, island of Hawaii, on the big island of Hawaii. There's going to be two marches. There's one in Kona this morning, yes. and there's one in Hilo in the early afternoon. Last week, they had 2,000 people marching on, in Kauai. Wow. That's cool. And that's with a population of only 67,000 people. That's great. That's great. And the week before that, there were a thousand people up in Haleiwa. I was there, and I know a lot of you guys are there too. People are speaking out. The people are speaking out. It's the people's house in back here. It's the legislatures that are in the VIP transport bus. They're having lunch on the farm. I wonder if they're serving GMO. You know, I hope they feed them some GMO uh, seed corn. Of course, you can't legally eat that. But you can't legally eat what? What, what most of the crop here is a GMO oh, yeah, seed corn. Right, so we're not even uh, being fed by what Monsanto right. has here. That's no, right. It's, just, it's for export and, uh, and that land that we could be using for sustainable agriculture 
is being used for export. That's yes. right. Yeah. We have a lot of people Not watching. We have state. Steve Sullum from uh, New Jersey. We have Portland, Oregon watching. Aloha. <laughs> Aloha from Hawaii. I'm going to back up here so we get an idea of what's going on. If you just joined us, that big VIP transport tour bus, thank you, that's Kaimi. We are at the state capitol where a luxury tour bus will be ta has taken, uh, kidnapped some of our legislators. There they go. To take them on a tour, pro-GMO tour, of a farm, quote unquote, feed them uh, lunch and have a presentation by a bunch of farmers that were flown in from the mainland who won a uh, essay contest. And being here, as you can see, As you can see, um, it's a beautiful morning. It sure beats being on the farm in South Dakota, that's for sure. Nothing against South Dakota, but just based on the numbers, you know, the Fahrenheit numbers. <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day here. Now, some of the GMO labeling people just found out. I don't trust their PR. They did get a PR firm, Becker Communications. You know, they're an expensive firm, very professional bunch of guys. If you're a, if you're a really horrible industry, get Becker Communications because they're, they're the ones. Thank you. I'm going to get, I'm going to back up and get Okay, Larry, we're doing this for Larry Geller, who's taking screenshots. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get that in the background. So here we are in front of the state capitol. All right, thank you. I think uh, we're going to head out to Kunii. You know if they're going to go to the Monsanto headquarters? Or? Where, where is that? You know, on that, where's that uh, uh, piece of thing, paper because... Um, paper has it. Karen has it. Karen has it? Okay, She's good. Oh, okay. Good. She's my driver. Yeah. Are you guys going out there, too? I got to move out. Hey, thanks for coming out, everybody. Might, if you're going to Kunia, I might be out there. For the people, not for the 1%. Absolutely. I'm going to... You keep your eye on Twitter or on this channel. When I get out to Kunia, I'll be uh, posting on the same channel. This is a live stream, so it's uh, pretty good. Here is uh, Karen's talking to the trolley tour guide. You know, education is really important. I gotta, I gotta tell everybody that's watching. Uh, who probably, if you're watching, you have an opinion about GMO. You're either for or probably against. But hey, you know what? There are a lot of people that don't know what GMO is. You know, they just, they just, you know, like the rest of us, we're trying to like, we, there's so much to know in this world. We, we just want to, we assume that we go to the supermarket and get food and it's safe because our government, you know, makes sure the food is safe and that kind of thing. So if you know about GMO, don't assume anyone else knows and, and let people know. Put a, I got a GMO, label GMO food to sticker in my car and people, I, I catch people kind of looking at it and wondering what that is. And you just gotta tell them, oh, you know, GMO, genetically modified organisms, they're not good, they're bad. We want them labeled. Like cigarettes, you know? Well, about to uh, sign off from the state capitol building. I'm gonna sign off here in, in front of one of the kind of iconic uh,
who is this guy, you would say? Well, this is a fa famous... Uh... Larry asks, uh, were any identifiable legislators on board the bus? And I didn't notice any. There actually weren't a whole lot of people on the bus um, compared to the size of the bus, compared to the number of lays they had. And uh, so there might have been some last minute cancellations when people found out what the real deal was. Uh, John Steelquist of the uh, Makiki Neighborhood Board um, said that he didn't realize it was a GMO thing. It would, he just got a thing in the mail saying, you know, taste of egg. Find out about, you know, take, take a look at a farm and get a presentation on stuff. So we can assume that not all the uh, legislators knew. Quite right, Steve. It might be people power at work, and I'm about to sign off. I, I came here uh, for the people from the continent uh, who might wonder why there is the statue of a Belgian priest. Father Damien, who uh, spent his life uh, ministering to the lepers at uh, Kalau Papa on Molokai. Uh, I was going to say they don't make Catholics like that anymore, but I won't because that's really kind of <laughs> sacrilegious. I don't have a, I don't, I'm not going to inject uh, religion into this, you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to sign off here. Still educating. Karen like doesn't give up educating people, so she's educating the tour trolley guy. And as Larry mentioned, uh, Father Damien gave his life. He he, uh, you know, there's there was no way of ministering to lepers without getting it. He was he wasn't scared, and uh, so he died of leprosy. This statue is good because it's a, it's a stylized statue, but it doesn't hide the fact, if you look at his face, it's, uh, kind, it's deformed by the, by the disease that finally took his life. And uh, he's subject to a process of Sainthood, I, th I think, I think there's been, there's this many step process, he's been beatified, etc. You know, and he's right in front of this legislature, the uh, vending, the, the vending mall of legislation, and it, I, I think we should take this guy's selflessness as an inspiration, uh, you know, so let's, let's change this system and...